Okay, okay, okay. Yo, this is MLNY, Breaking Records Radio. Brrr. Yo, what's up, boy, Eddie G. Eddie G TV, episode 34. Yo, so, uh, yo, you think it's crazy wild how, like, uh, Steve Harvey did push a T on the Family Feud? Yo, when I started at EGTV, I was high. I believe it. I just wrote weed smoking music. And I was like I I was I was like How you gonna do weed smoking music when like poppers are life and you don't even do poppers? How you gonna have a song called fucking we smoking music, but fucking poppers are life. Yo, fam. You didn't even mention about, about poppers in your shit. In your last joint, you fucking dissed people that do poppers. Like, come on. You ain't Yo, pro- fam. You ain't about this. You ain't about this weed life. Yo, all you need is me. I mean... You can tell the ladies that, but, like, I don't need you like that. Pause. Yo, pause. <laughs> That's definitely a pause. Yo, why do you got my computer? Oh, shit, yo. Yo. <laughs> so, next topic of discussion. Okay. Yo, man. Your thoughts are probably orange right now. Fuck your thoughts. I just got this really good weed. It wasn't orange. It was called Grandma Pussy. No, that's fire. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because it's old and aged, but it's got a fine taste to it. Right? And I was like... Yeah, imagine have a whiskey so. called that. I bet you the whiskey would be... Ooh. I mean, I mean the vodka. Yeah, wait a minute. What's going on here? I mean, the vodka would be fucking nice of like that. You're Eddie. No. I'm fucking MLNY in the place to be. Yo, give me that shit, motherfucker. Yo, what's <laughs> going on right here? <laughs> this feels better. Yo, episode 34. <laughs> Brocket. 34? I don't know, 43? 43. 44. I think I said 34 before. Well, you did, because I was you. So you actually said 34 at the beginning of the episode. Uh, so I had to correct you now. I had to Yo, correct myself. Yeah, official brockage. I had to correct myself. Buck. Gun buck. Gun buck. Gun buck. So, yo. You haven't even hit him with the gun buck yet. You hit him with enough. Gun buck. Gun buck. What do you think about Young Buck getting head from a tranny? <laughs> Good segue. Good segue. Right? Yeah. <clears throat> Did he know? We talked about this before. Did he know? Does it matter if he knew? Yes. Big, big information. Well, did he have to know before <clears throat> or after? He had to know before. Well, what if he didn't know before? But then maybe he like went to rubber vagina and there was a lump there and he's like, oh shit, but the head's good. Did he fight? So if you're already getting head from a girl who's hot, and then you go to rub the clit, and there's a lump, what are you doing? Fight. You're fighting? You're not going to get your nut first? No. What if you're like this close to climaxing? I might let it go. Yeah, you just just let him swallow the nut? But then like fucking instantly, as soon as I nut, I'm just fucking... It's like fucking wartime. So you're coming in his mouth and then punching him in his face? Like, before he even gets to swallow it, you're just like... No, it's like, like you know, I've seen it in an old boxing movie. The fist hits yeah, the face yeah, and instead of spit, it's just like a big load. Yeah, yeah, uh, like, yeah, yeah, I'm timing it. I'm timing it so, like, the second my dick is fully out of the mouth, the fist is hitting at the same time. And then are you getting off that last squirt right after you punch him, so it's like... A little squirt on the face after a snuff. 
It's like, yeah, tranny, I just punched you in the face and came on it. <laughs> it's like, you like pull it out and you've already busted most nut and you hit him with the quick and then shoot off that last one and fall back. It's like... <laughs> Do you call it a he or a she after that, though? It. Would you fuck it? No. Like from the movie, the clown, Pennywise. I mean, like. What if it was a bad bitch under there, like a midget? Ooh, yeah, I don't even. Yeah. Would you get head from a midget? Of course. What about of course. an ugly midget? What? What about an ugly midget? Of course. What about a boy midget? No. <laughs> what about a tranny midget? A tranny ah! midget. <laughs> he had to think. No, I'm thinking about this. Uh, a tranny midget. That's like some like uh, that's like some like unicorn shit. Like you 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 have to get you have to get head from the tranny midget. So what if Young Buck got head from a tranny midget? Is he justified? Wait. Oh, so he got head from a just a regular tranny though. That's different. I don't know. What makes a tranny regular or not regular? Midget compared to like not midget. I I I I was saying in that point because it's not regular. So you'd rather fuck a tall tranny? No, I'd rather fuck a midget tranny. Cause that's like a unicorn. What if the midget tranny had a bigger dick than the tall tranny? Like, what if it was undeniably a tranny if it was a midget, but you weren't sure if it was a tall one? Wait, wait, so you're saying, I don't know if it's a tall, like, I... Like, the tall <laughs> tranny, you're not sure. But the, the midget, like, it, there's undeniably a lump. Do you know the... The, the tall, midget tranny's wearing gray track pants. So, so, so you don't even know if the tall one is a female or not? You're not sure. Well, you if might you, have your suspicions, but you're like, she's kind of banging. Yeah, I remember this one time. You fucked a tranny? Yeah, I was in the strip club. Did you uh, come? Uh, yeah, uh, a buddy of mine was like, this one girl was on stage, and this buddy of mine was like, oh man, look at this girl, she's hot. I'm like, no, nah, she has an Adam's apple. <laughs> and like the whole time she was dancing, like it was dancing, it had her like chin down. He's like, man, that girl's hot. Like, and I was like, no, it's not. I'm like, wait, wait for the fucking chin to come up and see the Adam's apple. But wait, how was she stripping then? Did she like go full balls out? I guess she got the Did operation she get to get to, to, yeah, like, but like, had the operation to get it removed. Ah, uh, so you just seen through the, you read between the lines. I seen the Adam's apple. Like when when you get your operation down there, don't take away the Adam's apple. Girls don't have Adam's apple. That's uh, yo. That makes me re-question my whole sexual history. <laughs> yo, if you don't know, like to look at the Adam's apple, like that's like, like, man, you like. You're just waiting to get cu- hit up in cuffing season by a tranny. Right, like. You, you, you gotta look yo, at if you don't have something else for cuffing season, are you gonna cuff with mm-hmm. a tranny? No, I fucking... I got, I got the the fucking socks I ordered from Pornhub. True. Yeah. <coughs> Shout out to everyone out there burping tranny and, I, and honestly, sometimes, like... You know, like, sometimes I'm like... Here's a question I wonder. So if it's a girl that gets a penis put on... Firstly, how does that even work? But secondly, can that the penis, penis come... transplant... Well, who just donates their penis to, like, sit in a lab? Dead people? You can do- donate your dead, your dead penis? You can do- donate your body to science, but can yeah. you, like, specify, like, I'm going to donate my penis to a tranny? Yo, I feel so- some type of way of, it, like, if, like... Wouldn't uh, you rather those penises be donated for the penis gun? Yes. <laughs> but, like, uh, but, like... <laughs> <laughs> but yo, I would fucking be pissed off in the afterlife. I'd be turning around my grave. Like if you donated your body to science and found out they just gave it to like people who want sex operations to be different genders. Yeah. Yeah. I'd be mad, bro. My body, like, 
Would you be mad if they gave your beard to a chick? My beard? Yeah. No. But then what if she was sucking mad dick and there's just like from the afterlife you just that's, kept like seeing cum in your beard? Oh, yeah, that's... I'd be mad. What if she was into bukkakis? I'd be mad. There's just don't mad... Get, don't get fucking cum on my beard. mad cum on your beard. Don't get cum on my beard. You're like, yo, I'm dead, but there's mad cum on my beard right now. Oh, man, super pause, but like... <laughs> <laughs> are you are you mad? Yeah, I'm mad. <laughs> um, <laughs> are you hot in that motherfucker? Yeah, You're like the house closing and opening doors, and they're trying to sleep. I'm fucking like, like banging on the fucking coffin, and like fucking let me fuck it out. But you're a ghost, so you just see this shit. Like it's like it's oh. like. You're like, yo, it's like in your full peripheral vision. Like, you're sitting Man. there watching her take, like, 25 nuts on your beard. <laughs> and you're like, mm. I hope they don't Walt Disney me and bring me back to life. Because I gotta wipe this thing clean. Yo, let's just, like, change the subject. That's fucking... That's depressing. I, so, am, I am not IDG. I am not I was going to probably Donate my, my body to science But like But now you're not Now I'm not But what if they just like What if they donated your <laughs> <laughs> To like A tranny Who was the Biggest hoe in the world Like she didn't just Settle down She like Like mad dudes Are sucking that dick <laughs> And Matt, you're just like Matt, In the afterlife Watching Matt. dudes Suck your dick like crazy. Like five <laughs> dudes a night <laughs> sucking on your shit. No. Nah, she's, tra- she's a tranny prostitute that only deals with men. Maybe one yeah. girl once in a while. So, like, there's the odd vagina, but, the, like, it's mostly dudes. How would you feel about this? Deck. I'm asking you. I'm asking you because I, 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 I answered on some. On I'd be own. pumped. I'd be like, fuck it. At least it's going to use. You'd be happy that... Suck away. You'd be happy that a bunch of guys are sucking you off. It's not my dick anymore. I'm dead. Yeah. You're just going to pass it on. It's like everything else in life. You make all this money, you die, and you pass it on to your fucking spoiled-ass kids. Yo. One thing that's not on the topic, though. Might as well pass your dick on. But, like, uh, I was talking with this girl, and I thought it was some funny shit. So like when I when I was younger, yeah, you used to watch tranny porn. No, <laughs> <laughs> you get me on that. No, solid no. But like um, oh. man, like you know how some guys are like like their their joint is like one solid skin skin tone, and like some guys oh, are I like you're gonna talk about like conjoined twins. Say no. they're joined at the dick. No. Do you imagine? <laughs> Yo, you're, you're, you're going way too at fucking. The dick. That's no, I don't. And your whole that. life, you had to walk. <laughs> you faced another man your whole life, and it was your biological twin brother. And your dicks are attached. Yeah, and you no. can't cut them off because you just have flat tips. <laughs> what the fuck? It's like an umbilical cord between you. <laughs> nah, fam. But you die. One of you dies if you cut it and you don't know which one. And then you have a flat top. You have like a Big Daddy Kane haircut in the 80s with a <laughs> <big big dick. laughs> Ain't no barber getting tra- that shit that flat. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That's not where I was going with this. Yo, but what are you doing in that situation? Are we cutting now? Like, uh, if, I, <laughs> I, uh, if, uh, if I die, I die. Like <laughs> If he dies, he dies. <laughs> Yo, and I'd be like, yo, I t- I'll tell the girls, like, yo, you've seen other dicks before, but you ain't seen one like this. <laughs> the hammerhead fish. <laughs> <laughs> yo, you, yeah? yo, you heard guys call their, uh, call their joint the hammer? This is really the hammer. <laughs> oh, man. So where were you going with that? Okay, so I was going with, uh... <laughs> Yeah, you know, like some guys, like on on, on their uh, their skin tone on their dick is like one skin tone. Oh no, I got the split. Yeah, I got the split too. But like, yeah. uh, for, for when I was younger, I thought I had uh, I thought I had a dirty dick when I was a kid. 
I thought that too. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I was going with it. I was like, I used to, I, try to scrub that shit. Yeah. It wasn't until I watched porn one day and I, I was started, like, I jerked off in the shower how many times? It's still dirty? Like, I don't no, get it. It wasn't until I watched porn one yeah. time. Yeah. I was watching some chick slob on this knob and I'm like, yo, his dick's two colors too. And yeah. I got pumped. Yeah, I was going to say, the same I exact thing. Out, That's where I was going with it. I, I went was like, out that night and fucking tried to get my dick sucked so many times. I'm like, yo, every woman, well, not woman, every 13-year-old, no, probably like 10-year-old girl should put her mouth on this dick. That sounds super <laughs> pause right now. <laughs> yeah. But I was also 10 at the time. Okay. So well, like, yeah. Remove the pause. But I remember, like, being embarrassed about that at, at one point. I was like, man, like, what the... Why does my dick look like, look like fucking two, two two different tones? Yeah, I was scared. I was, I was I scared. I thought I had an STD before I ever had sex. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh shit, I caught something on that toilet seat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Like, yeah. Yeah. You watch some porns and some guys are all like the same... I don't know, you just be overanalyzing dudes' dicks. After that, I was just like, I'm straight. I'm good? All right. How many porns do you watch? Like, if we're just talking about Bukaki, probably Mm -hmm. 20,000. You've seen a fucking... I've seen my fair share of penis. Yes. That's what I'm saying. Pause. Pause. Anybody that's watched a certain amount of pornos, I've seen their fair amount of... Bored them. Yeah, but yo, some say the. But yeah, but yeah, I just wanted to like bring that up. Like, I was actually embarrassed as a kid. I was like, fucking, I was like, oh fuck. Some say the singular color tone, the penis, the shorter the roots. Yo, should we put up a poll? I say the separate eh? color tones, the deeper the roots. Yeah, should we put up a poll? Vitties, which dick is better, the two tone or the one tone? Pause. You're telling ladies that. Are you though? You're asking ladies You're that. You're broadcasting on a public network. And the, and, and the guys that vote on it, you have to hit them with a pause. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. You know, we don't have to say pause for what we're saying, but if a guy votes on it, I feel like this whole episode so far needs to be named Pause. I mean, we should just rename the pod guys Pause, the Pause Podcast, the Pause Cast. Pause cast. The no condom pause cast. Right. Yeah, man. So what about crabs jumping? Yeah. So, like, uh, are you sucking a dick if the crab jumps out of the pubic hair into your eyebrow? Yeah, I actually heard this story. Are like, you eating a pussy if a dude's crab from her vagina jumps out of her vagina hair into your eyebrow? Wait, hold on, what? So well, girls getting crabs from a dude, right? So, did you ever think about how gross that is too? Like STDs. Like, if you catch an STD from a chick, that came from a dick. Well, you, so you're actually well, technically kind of like no, I've actually thought you, you you're like lie? rubbing swords with another dude, kind of. Actually, did you, you ever think about that though? Like, think about it. If you got like herpes from a chick's vagina and she got it from a dude's dick, you're basically you like you and that guy have basically rubbed swords. I don't look, look at it like that. You kind of have. Something that was just sitting all nasty on the tip of his dick is now sitting all nasty on the tip of yours. I, I'm not. You just had a middleman, though. You just had a middleman. Yeah, yeah. The vagina. At least there was a middleman. Like there has to be a middleman. Or else it's a pause. But at the end of the I day, I mean, I, I'm middle woman. Not a middle pause. man. Pause. <laughs> not a middle man. But at the end of the day, you basically just rub swords. It's even nasty. Like, that's herpes. That's a surface thing. It's even nastier when you get into, like, HIV and shit. Like, you basically, like... So that man's semen left something inside of this woman that now you've contracted. Like, you basically just dipped your dick openly into a bowl of hot HIV-infested semen from another guy. You don't even realize how how I look out. Because having a micropenis, all the STDs are in the back. Yeah, they say that, but that's not true. I don't herpes is on the surface. Herpes, but the, the, the other ones, I can catch those. They're too, I don't they're, know they're, about that. And they're too deep. Too deep to put your ass to sleep. 
Yeah, like I, I, I really gotta stop hitting on like big, big booty girls, cause then like I only got the, can't I, even get it in there. Cause I got, yeah, I got the micro penis. What am I doing? I like the big booties, but like you might as well just fuck the couch cushion at that point. Well, that's happened before. Yo, you ever fucked the couch cushion for real though? <laughs> no. Oh, I did that when I was younger. I definitely fucked the couch cushion a couple times. Left my dick all hurt, like hurting and shit. So I like uh. I like uh, I already like started like kind of to jump in the the cushion, but then like just like w- w- with the boxers on, but then like got off and was like, all right, now I'm gonna fucking fully go at this thing. Yo, when I was younger, I used to like jacking off through the boxers. Maybe it's because I like had to hide it at home, but I can't do that shit now, man. It's no. so uncomfortable. No, you, see, it used you, to be like the perfect off. job because you just get it done, and then you didn't even have to clean your hand or nothing. It was just done with. Is in your boxes, and you're like, right, I'm just drop these here. Mom, you can pick those up later. <laughs> I'm, like, <laughs> I'm just playing. Yo, wow. when you, yo, when you lived at home, did you not hide the cum stained underwear to like the bottom of the laundry as if it was like less noticeable? I, I would like dig through the laundry and like bury that like a dog does a bone. Like, yo, like, no, ain't nobody knowing this. Come on, this. If anything, like, you think in retrospect, you're like, it's probably worse. I just sat in there and got soggy and soggy and soaked everything else with cum. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was my socks. That, uh, the, it wasn't my boxers, it was my socks. Oh, man, I couldn't do the socks neither. Ever since I watched the Red Eyed Chili Peppers come out on stage with socks on their dicks, I'm like, it's just changed masturbating for me forever I don't feel comfortable doing this and it hurt like the box is a little more gentle and nicer material doing the sock it's like or you just wait till you're gonna come and like pretend it's a girl's mouth and be like but we can't even like spread it like that and finish your load you gotta like almost like the second you're about to bust like spread it open but the boxers is like you just like shove it on top of yo pause though (laughs) <laughs> but the boxers are like, wait, you're going to come in the boxers that, 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 that you're wearing? Yeah, and then you just drop them and hide them. Nah, that's that's weird, fam. Or sometimes you just keep them on. <laughs> yeah, like, eh, it dries up in like 10 minutes. Nah. Then it's an extra little, like, seasoning for, like, the next girl who sucks you off. Especially if you're Seasoning. like me and you don't shower. Like, in my teenage days, yo, if you were sucking my dick when I was a teenager, like, there's probably, like, three other girls' lips on there, a couple layers of, like, days of different semens, and, like, non-showered ball sweat for, like, four days. <laughs> I was on my shit in high school. I wasn't. I was, I was doing like, ecstasy was fucking... and staying up for, like, when you're up for four days, you're like, oh, I showered yesterday. Yesterday was last week, but... <laughs> You've been up the whole time. You're like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Now you gotta hit that shower, fam. Nah, man. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Unless you're a high school kid taking copious amounts of ecstasy. You're like, oh, fuck a shower. I'll do that tomorrow, fam. And tomorrow could be like next week, because, you know, tomorrow's not until you sleep. Right. But, yo, before we wrap this up, no pun intended, because we don't wrap shit up. <laughs> So Steve Harvey just pushed the teeth. Tell me about it. Let's talk about it. Hashtag okay. fuck orange. Yo, and you know if your dick's orange, you got some issues, but move on. We're not going to talk about that. Let's not talk about it. Yeah. You're actually like, I tripped off after I had the, you know, like the best, uh, they say the best part of the Doritos. Um... Uh, 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 get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> get the fuck out of here. Yo, get the fuck out of here. Dude, uh, I can't even fucking touch the remote for the television after eating Doritos. I had, like, I can't touch it. We went out for fucking brunch today. Someone's like, oh, can you pull the blind on the curtain? I'm like, nah, I can't. I got shit all over my hands. Because I was eating chicken wings at the end of the brunch. My hands are all greasy. Like, I cannot touch shit. Like, my phone, my phone would just sit there. Even if I got to call somebody, like, you desperately, have, you, life you, or death, if I got you, grease and shit on my you, hands. You never dripped off with Doritos Fuck hands. no. <laughs> the fuck out of here. 